Well, schools all across the First Coast, all across the country are still trying to figure out the best way to teach children from afar during the pandemic. But imagine if your students are deaf or blind. Tonight, Jessica Clark reports on how the Florida School of the Deaf and Blind in St. Augustine is making sure that its students get the lessons that they need. Noah is signing for his kindergarten teacher. He and his older brother Joshua attend the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind in St. Augustine. Both of our boys are profoundly deaf. They Jamie and Jason Hoffnagel are the boys' parents, and they're trying to get used to carrying out this distance learning at home with their five sons now. 558 students from across the state attend the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind, a school which may have even more challenges than other public schools when it comes to distance learning just because of their students' special needs. We knew that this was going to be an amazing learning curve for everybody involved. The school sends instructional materials, braille or paper-based, to students every week. We also send home devices, so computers, iPads, assistive technology. For blind students, they're working with refreshable braille devices. That hooks up to their computer, that the braille comes through on this refreshable keypad that they have. For deaf students, videos of the lessons are key, and there are so many video conferencing platforms now. And this, the signs, really they're captured beautifully on those platforms. Tracy Snow is not just the school's instructional administrator. Her deaf son is also a student at the school. Our deaf kids receive a video of everything that they're learning. So that's been, I think, uh, really an exceptional um, example. The school's president says the pandemic has taught her staff how to adapt to an unusual time, just like her students have to adapt to living in a hearing and seeing world. All the time. That's what we're doing all the time, making accommodations and adapting. And at the Hoffnagel House? It has gone, it has gone really, really well. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.